Hello, I'm Cash from Cash Day Boards, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your longboard or skateboard look like this one with this awesome custom pinstripe grip tape. Let's get started. Okay, so the materials you will need to install your grip tape are your board, obviously, the grip tape itself, a straight edge if you want any straight lines in your design, a tape measure, a razor blade, and a scrap piece of metal. Before you start actually installing the grip tape, you're going to want to have an idea of what you want your board to look like. Now that you have an idea for your grip tape design, you could begin laying out what you need to cut. For my board, I needed to make sure that I had a space cut out of the grip tape for my logo. I also needed to decide on the width of the pinstripe and the space between the pinstripe and the outer grip tape. Make sure you measure and are precise as it will lead to a high quality final product. Once you have the measurements you will need, you could begin laying out your design on the back of the grip tape. When doing this, have good use of space so you don't waste grip tape. Also, use your straight edge here if you need it to make sure your measurements are accurate and your lines are straight. Here's the final layout of my grip tape which I labeled to make it easier to understand. Now you could cut out your grip tape using either a utility knife or a razor blade. Also, the guidance of a straight edge really helps with this too. Now that you've got your grip tape pieces cut out, lay them on the board to make sure everything lines up correctly and will work as you thought. Now you could start sticking on your grip tape using tape as guides. It is very important that you are very accurate and precise if you want a good final result. Keep applying pieces of grip tape and use a roller if you have one. If you don't, make sure they are thoroughly stuck on with your hands. While applying the grip tape, it may be easier to remove small sections of backing at a time so the whole sheet doesn't stick to your board where you don't want it. Now that you've got your grip tape stuck on well, I'll show you how to trim off the extra and finish off your board. Use your scrap piece of metal to rub off the grip from the grip tape around the edges of the board. This will allow for cleaner, smoother cutting. Also, don't forget to make relief cuts which allow the grip tape to flex while cutting curved areas. Now you could use a razor to cut the grip tape off the edge of the board. The more continuous the cutting motion is, the cleaner your final cut will be. If you don't cut in flowing motions, you will end up with spots like these, which you should clean up afterwards with your razor. Here's the edge of my board after it was cleaned up a little bit. The last step to grip taping your board is cutting the holes for the bolts which mount the trucks to the deck. I use my razor to make holes in the grip tape where my hardware will go. Next, I use a drill with a countersink bit to clean up the holes. If you don't have this, you could use your razor blade. After that, your grip tape job is complete. Here are some shots of my final grip tape board. Alright, that's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this covering different aspects of board building. As always, thanks for watching.